to the boisterous New York, the star of VH1's newest dating reality show, I Love New York. And the producers of the show initially set up New York with 20 different men to choose from. And with that many guys, New York had to get some help. Choosing the love of your life can be an overwhelming task. So New York brought along someone special to help separate the boys from the men. I brought my mom here to be a part of this with me. You are freaking out of here! This is my financial situation. I'm broke. <laughs> I told you I was crazy when you first met me. <laughs> Have you ever been in a psychiatric hospital? No, no. Have you ever had a man come on to you? I don't play that. Some of them, they had like a touch of undercover gay to them. You know, I can tell a gay person. Who waxes your eyebrows? I tweeze them out myself. Not for my daughter. So we got a butt naked hole running around this house. A shizzle. Michelle Patterson, New York's mama. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're all like matching in black and white here. <laughs> So, Michelle, you and Flavor Flav did not get along, did you? No, we didn't get along, not at no, all. No, back in the day. No. So, if, you, if, if your daughter was chosen by him, what would your relationship be like with her man? First of all, that would have never gotten that far. He was never going to be with Tiffany, not at all. It just never was going to happen? Never going to happen, not at all. <laughs> never. Not, I'm sorry, not at all. It was all. never going to happen. So are you guys best friends or more of a mama-daughter? What is your dynamic between each other? We're mother-daughter. She's not my best friend. We can never be best friends because there's a thin line between being a good mother to a child and then having a friendship. Because if you have a friendship with your child, your children will not respect you and they will run, run amok. But doesn't she cuss you out and stuff on the show? Are you kidding? Doesn't she say cuss words? I saw a cuss no. words. She, she can she say cuss, cuss words. words. She can say all the cuss words she wants, honey, because she is an adult. But she would never disrespect me and curse me out. Because Amen. Amen. So Amen. Amen. Not. Amen. I don't mean curse you out. No, no, no. 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 <laughs> well, not curse you out, but I'm saying there's like a lot of yelling and screaming. And so where do you draw the line between it's okay and you better she shut up? She can yell. She can scream. That's part of a human emotion. But, um... You can't curse me out. You'd never use the four-letter word toward me. That's toward you. Right. And Got I, absolutely I would never not. want to. No. I know that you say that you raised her to stand up for herself. What does that mean to you? Oh, every woman should be able to stand up for themselves. Mm -hmm. And that means to uh, not have anybody push you around. You don't push anybody around. Show people respect, but don't let anybody talk to you any way they want to talk to you. Why did she bring you on the show? Why do you think she brought you? Or why did you bring your mom to you? I brought my mom because she's, well, we are friends, but that's my mom at the same time. Uh -huh. But she has insight. She knew Flay was going to burn me. I didn't listen to her, <laughs> you know, but I wish I, well, no, I didn't make a mistake with going back a second time. But this time I just knew that I needed her insight, her yeah. input, because I was going to be dealing with 20 different guys. And my she's mom. She's helping through that. Yeah, she's going to help me. Is there anything that, I know, I know as a mom, you're proud of your daughter. My mom's proud of me, but there are certain things that get on her nerves about me. What gets on your nerves or makes you upset that New York does? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. What gets on my nerves? Well, she doesn't listen to every single thing that I tell her to do. That gets on my nerves. But she is growing up, and she does have to make her own choice. Yeah. And she is the HBIC. <laughs> <laughs> we know what that was. I know that you were suspicious of some of the guys' sexual persuasions on the show. Oh, wow. What's that about? Oh. It's about a dating reality show. She's here to look for love. And I don't want any man, no female should have any man that's a fence jumper. Meaning, you're sleeping with a woman today and coming back and getting with a boy tonight. We don't play that. And, no, because there's too much AIDS in the world for that, Tyra. But you can get AIDS from heterosexual sex, too. Yeah, I'm sure you can, but I'm just saying this. If you're going to sleep with a man, sleep with a man. Love a man. I don't care. I'm down with the gay pride. I, I love all kinds of people. But I feel that I have the right to ask a guy, any guy, are you sleeping with another man? Because I want to know. <laughs> you, be you better ask him. In just a minute, we'll meet the men of I Love New York. Like mama, like daughter. Work Thank it out. Mama. We'll be right back. <laughs>